We're here with Glinda Hull, who is a professor of education in language, literacy, and culture at the Graduate School of Education, University of California, Berkeley, and visiting research professor in Steinhardt School of Culture, Education, and Human Development at New York University. She began her career in education by teaching middle and high school students in two small towns in Mississippi, and her current research focuses on designing innovative online spaces for learning and exploring the burgeoning phenomenon of global schools. A lot of uh, topics that interest <laughs> me personally, and I'm sure interest others at DML 2015, the, the theme this year is on equity, and um, I'd love to hear about your session. What's your session about and what excites you about it? Oh, thank you. I'm very excited about um, my session or my strand of sessions, which call which is called expanding freedoms through digital design and practice locally and, and globally. And I got the idea for this session uh, from some work that I had been doing with a colleague in India. Um, her name is Urvashi Sani, and she started a wonderful school called uh, Study Hall um, in the city of Lucknow. I worked with her to provide access to digital technology for uh, girls who were attending her school via scholarship. Um, these young women uh, were quite poor economically, but had big dreams. And what I saw in my work with her was that media practice intersected in a very powerful way with a critical curriculum. And the media practice served as a kind of uh, I thought of it as a fulcrum that shifted the balance, that allowed the girls to uh, escape a bit of the constraints they were experiencing in the domestic sphere at home and participate um, uh, more fully in the civic arena. So when I saw these kinds of changes, I thought, gee, this would be a great idea um, for a session at DML. I thought uh, if we could ask other educators and researchers around the world, in the U.S., but also around the world, who have similarly noticed that um, digital media can be a kind of fulcrum that shifts things, that, that, um, that engages people in critical ways, um, if we could share those experiences, figure out when that kind of shifting happens, what the conditions are that surround it, how it can be supported, supported whoa, that would be a wonderful strand. I'm sure you have a lot of stories. Um, it's always good to get a concrete instance of uh -huh. how somebody's life was shifted. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you the, the, the story of a, a young woman um, I came to know um, who, who we call Shushma. She began our digital media program um, working in pretty, pretty extreme constraints in terms of uh, parents or one parent who didn't want her to participate at all. Um, he thought that technology was not for young women and that she would be better served if she did not come to school or participate online. And she, he was especially concerned that she not share her stories online or talk about her particular circumstances or her family and so on online. Um, but Shushma persisted in this, this um, town in India and became one of the most um, prolific um, contributors, contributors to a social network that linked kids around the world. And her stories became widely known. And eventually, she became able to uh, travel to conferences and talk about her life and show how, even though she was pretty constrained economically uh, and in terms of the sorts of freedoms that she didn't have as a girl in India, by sharing her story and bringing it to the attention of local and global audiences, her relationship with her father shifted too. And while it's still not um, still not ideal. Um, she has gained respect in her community and in her home, and she's created a whole life for herself outside her home uh, and has finished school and, and gone on to start a career. So this is one story among many, um, but it gives you a little bit of, of a flavor for how uh, digital media can intersect with um, other kinds of support systems and opportunities to make um, really quite radical changes for the good. Wonderful story, and and I 
I think it's a pretty good bet that a lot of the people at DML 2015 are going to be interested in learning from you how they can also facilitate that kind of story. So thank you very much, Glenda. Absolutely. My pleasure.